Did you like uh, working double duty as far as refing and uh, sometimes working? Uh, yeah, because I was, to me, I was, you know, uh, people didn't know. Right. And that was a great feeling. You know, I, they didn't know that they were just out there calling me a, an asshole and, uh, you know, a regular fan uh, yeah. would do. And then you come out and you referee, and at that point, of course, I wasn't the heel referee. And they would, you know, right. treat me different. So I was playing like a double role, which, which you know, most people would enjoy doing. Now, as Mr. X, you got to work with some really big names, as you stated earlier on. Uh, you actually got to work with uh, Pedro Morales? Pedro Morales, yes, sir. Uh, I can't, and it's hard for anybody to say uh, greatness is, I don't know, but guys like that who were old school had more psychology and respect for the business in terms of no matter who you work with, whether it be Mr. X who loses every match or the champion, you respect them and you'll give them enough to where the people will respect his ability as well as yours. And because if I go in there and kick the snot out of you and one, two, three means nothing. Means nothing. But if I appear to be able to beat you and you make your comeback and you defeat me, then that's part of the psychology. Right, it makes you look a little bit stronger. It makes the guy who's going over look stronger. And it's called business. It's called, you know, right. uh, respect for the business. You also got to work a little bit with uh, Bruno Sarantino. Brother, I'm going to tell you something right now, and I don't care who likes Bruno, who doesn't like Bruno, what they think about Bruno. I had an opportunity to work with Bruno San Martino and his son on TV as Mr. X in a tag match. And I can't remember. It was, I was so hyped and psyched about that match to work at me, Danny Davis, the kid from the streets of Brockton, in a ring with Bruno. Can you imagine that? In, it, in your early 20s, uh, I'm telling you, there's no description. And afterwards, was the, I, and I'll never forget this, he went to Vince McMahon afterwards, they called me in the office, and I thought I was in trouble. I had done something wrong. And he looked at Vince and he says, you need a hundred more guys like this. And I shook his hand, and I looked him in the eye, and he meant it. Wow. And after that, brother, there's nothing... Uh, anything other than, well, I thought that it would be nothing else in my life that could be as, as exciting. Probably WrestleMania 3? WrestleMania 3.